buddy. That's okay. Um, I don't really care. <laughs> Bottles got two matches this week. They went one on one last week. They host UNLV. Uh, that would be tomorrow. And then they're at Air Force at a nooner on Sunday. Well, noon yeah. on Sunday. Yeah, that's because of football uh, football game Saturday. So, um, yeah. So we let's see. We op open conference at home with Utah State on uh, Wednesday last week. Um, had a nice match. One three one. Um, Got really good play out of almost the whole group, and and it was probably as consistent as we've been this year throughout the match. Um, uh, got uh, 19 kills out of both outside hitters, uh, Lauren Tweedy and Ty Barrera, which we really need, and that's where we've been a little bit inconsistent so far. Um, and and that speaks to Saturday's game. We went to Boise, great match, close games. Um, but we just didn't get the numbers we needed on the left side. But it was it was a great match, packed, really exciting. Um, they do a great job up there with their event, and um, it was it was a like I said a good match for us. I think if we could have gotten a little bit better numbers on the left side, we probably could have turned it. Uh, we had a, a two, a three, and a four point game, and really uh, we're in all of them. I thought. We battled well. I thought we um, are playing, definitely playing more consistent, which is good. Um, but just need uh, our outsides to continue to improve. And they're both really good. They have good arms. They just uh, we're doing a lot of work right now in practice to um, uh, we call it positive negative drills, where they've got to continue to move to the positive. And I think they're doing a good job with it. And hopefully it'll continue to show for them as we, we move forward here. Uh, to, uh, it's Tuesday, right? <laughs> Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, tomorrow night we have a whiteout game um, at Johnson. We play UNLV. Uh, they're, I think, 12 and 3. Um, started off really well. Um, haven't been tested a, a lot yet, but uh, I think they have probably the best outside hitter in the conference right now. Uh, Last name's Hayden. She's uh, um, about a 5'11 outside hitter from Minnesota that has just really turned the corner. Um, last year was a decent player in the conference. This year is averaging over six points a game, which in volleyball is, is, is probably in the top five in the country. So um, a lot of balls go to her. She's getting 12 to 15 balls a game, which is a huge number. So we're really focused on that and trying to shut that down. And um, but I think it'll be another great match. Like I said, it's a whiteout, so uh, people come, they get a free T-shirt that says whiteout and all that good stuff. And um, so we're excited about that. And then, like uh, Frank said, Sunday we go to uh, Air Force, um, and Air Force is having their best season in school history. So that's I think going to be a real challenge up there as well. Um, the conference is really balanced, so I think it's just you got to win at home and you got to pick off a few on the road. But um, we're one week in and there's only three teams undefeated, so um, it's been quite interesting already. And um, you know we've got to get out and battle and keep getting better. So uh, questions for this week? How do you prepare for UNLV and having when they have a player like that? You know, how do you prepare your team? Well, there's, they have a couple things. They have a real good jump serve. So we, we spent a lot of time yesterday just receiving that. Um, and um, again, with, with the way we can scout now and everything, you can get trends on where that ball goes, everything. So we're trying to get players to move into those hot spots on the court and force the, the jump server to do other things. Um, with the hitter, you know, you got, you got to, we got to try and line up our best block and, and slow it down and, and play the ball back. And, and uh, you know, someone who's being that successful, you know, you, you don't say, oh, we're going to shut them down completely. But if you slow them down and make the rest of the team win the match, um, then you've got, you know, better opportunities and things. Uh, and, and, and they've really turned, to, turned it around. I mean, they're playing really good ball. So we've, we've, but we have a couple things that we've definitely had to prepare for this week. 
Coach, you mentioned outside hitting starting to improve. What other areas would you like to see the team to continue to improve on? Well, the other one that I, I wanted to, we really did the last two weeks. Um, our backcourt defense, we went from 11 kills a game to almost 14 and, and had uh, matches this week at like 16 and 17. So um, I felt like that was really good. And um, so the defensive side really picked it up, had some uh, really good long rallies, things like that. And, one of the things we've really preached is staying in points. And um, so when you're getting that many digs, you're staying in more points. And, and that gives you more chances to score. And, and so that was the other thing we've really worked on the last couple of weeks is better defense and staying in points longer. Coach, uh, this Lauren Twitter, the one you're your Lauren, yes. How, how do you compare her to the other people you've had in her position in the past? Um, Lauren. <laughs> Lauren is, she reminds me of Jeannie Fairchild because she's her own worst demon. Like, um, I used to have to say to Jeannie all the time, get out of your own way. And I'm kind of right there with Lauren right now. Um, great kid, have a great relationship with her, um, but she's a, a high-end kid. She's a 4.0 student in, in, in biochem. She's a, um, so everything operates at a high stress level. And what we're trying to do is bring that down a little bit and, and, uh, and let her just be a little more free to play. But she's, she's skill-wise really complete. She's a great passer, great defender. She was first team all-conference last year as a sophomore. Um, she puts up big numbers. She just uh, has to stop battling herself a little bit and, and be a little freer on the court. But, you know, I, I would say she's, she's in that category with – with a genie, with I'm I'm uh, Elisa Meter, um, who was very dynamic for us. You know, I, I I hate to put anybody out there, but I think Chantel's kind of in her own league, so I don't really compare anyone there because she had a different role with our team, and she's gone on professionally and led three leagues now in scoring and uh, is doing really well. But. Uh, uh, Lauren's a really, really complete player. She's got a serve. She's a great block. She might be the best blocker on our team. Um, her blocking stats for an outside hitter are tremendous. Um, her ability to score points is always high. She's a um, probably a you know a four or five points per game score, which in volleyball, if you're over three points a game, that's a good number because that's per game. When you make it the match. You're talking 15, 20, 25 points. So, um, but but really, just needs to continue to work and um, learn learn to stay calm a little more. But a, a great player for us, yeah. Last eight matches. What concerns you most about that team? Um, you know, they didn't play a real tough schedule, but they've been winning and and um, winning really close games. I mean, everything's been close, and so they just they're playing hard for their new coach, and they're um, they just have some confidence right now, and I think that's what scares me most. You know, um, they've got a really good middle uh, last name Dis Dis Camps. Um, and then this outside hitter, they've improved their setting. And, and really, but really just, you know, you win a, a few games and it, it changes your confidence. You know, just like last year we struggled in game five. This year game, we, we're really happy when we're in game five. It's, it's been good so far, you know. And um, it, it's, it's such a weird sport that way. And it changes with one contact. And um, that's what drives us all crazy. <laughs> Yes, sir. I'd like to ask you about, I, I went to Utah State match and I heard people talk about, is it Ty? Ty Brett, yeah, yeah. But they were talking about her and kind of putting her down a little bit. And then she has 19 kills that night. And then I went to another game, she had 22. Mm -hmm. But she's so inconsistent that said, um, is she that inconsistent? Because that only been um, a few matches. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at her numbers here. Let's see. She's, she's scoring. Uh, close to four points a set for us. She's hitting 175, which um, is, is, is a good number for an outside hitter. Not great, but it's a good number. And for the amount of swings she gets, I think what 
what they within a match <laughs> you can attest to this but she'll have runs like she'll have five bad points and i think that's what frustrates people because at the end of matches her numbers are good yeah. and and if you look at the box for the season her numbers are really good um weakness in her game serving we've been taking her out from serving which uh, in, at volleyball, it's probably like a penalty kick. When people don't do it well, everybody goes crazy when somebody can't serve well. And, you know, there's a lot of pressure when you're serving. But, um, and, and there are teams that say, we don't care how much you miss, just go for it to take the other team out of their system. And there's other teams that um, serve more spots and try to isolate people and stuff. But, um, I think those are the things that frustrate people, the small runs of inconsistency and no she's a she's a great player and she's got a yeah she's got a big arm too she's got a really big arm yeah how do you handle a match like the Boise state match you know, where you lose in straight sets but they're all close sets what do you tell your team kind of after that game well first of all I felt like we got better I mean, it was it was a really good match. It was fun to watch. It was fun to be a part of. Um, very hostile environment. Uh, as as rough of an environment as we've been in in the last couple of years. Um, but I think we handled it well. Um, I mean, we had our kids were back serving with someone screaming in their ear right here, and um, we were low air. Um, did a good job with that. Um, you know, truthfully, if we we just we had a couple rallies that were long in games one and two that if we had flipped, I think would have flipped the match, but it was that close. But um, I felt like we were significantly better than we were Wednesday night, and I felt like we were significantly better than we were last weekend. So it's not hard to tell them, you know, yeah, you got to do more. You got to fight harder. You got to do whatever, but, but also that you're getting better, you know, so. Anyone else? Wow, you guys did your homework this week. I'm proud of you. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you very much. Have a good week.